Hi, this video is all about heat transfer vinyl. Um, I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to make an easy design and press it onto your t-shirt permanently um, without using a cutting machine. So just with your scissors, a pen, some heat transfer vinyl and I would also advise you to use a non-stick pressing sheet um, we have them in our store, as you can see, and they are looking like this, transparent white sheet to protect your iron uh, from glue or the uh, vinyl uh, sticking to the sole. Um, in the packaging that we are selling on the site are 20 sheets in different colors, so it's a great way to start to work with vinyl. You have a lot of options and the quality is really good. We also have some heat tape available to stick the little pieces temporarily to your t-shirt so they don't move when you're pressing them. And we have a t-shirt positioner and so that's, these are basically four rulers in the packaging in different sizes to position your design centered and correctly uh, on your t-shirt. I can show you what I already did because I played around a bit this week and made this cute overall for a baby with a panda design. I did some easy geometrical shapes or triangles on this t-shirt and liked the colors and the shape so much that I also did it on a little tote bag. I tried a dinosaur paw on a piece of fabric and some hearts that I cut out by hand on this little bag. Let's see what we can do more and I'll walk you through all the steps so you can do this at home. So first you need to decide what design you're going to use, what you want, for who it is. Well, that's like a personal choice. Uh, I just go on Google and I type in uh, if I want a letter or a number. I just uh, start looking for letters and numbers and then I copy and paste. Uh, design into a Word or a Google Doc and I print it and then I cut it out. So here's the five because my nephew's birthday, fifth birthday is coming up so I will make a t-shirt for him. He also likes dinosaurs that's why there are all these <laughs> shapes of paws from dinosaurs. Um, my daughter plays frisbee so uh, I cut out this frisbee icon and for my, my son uh, headphones so you can just find this through Google Images and uh, copy and paste and print out. The next step after you print it out on paper is to copy the design onto the heat transfer vinyl. So this one is a sheet I already used, this is a new one. So uh, heat uh, transfer vinyl sheets have two sides. You have this matte side and more um, blinky side. The blinky side is where the protective sheet is. So this uh, is going to peel off afterwards. Um, so on this side you can draw your own designs. You can copy designs. You can do whatever you want. It will peel off. And this side is the side with the glue. So this way it will go on. Uh, the t-shirt. As you can see I already cut out the five in uh, red vinyl, a dinosaur paw in like this golden color, a little one too. And then I'm going to copy the frisbee on the blue vinyl frisbee icon and the headphones on black. So to copy uh, this little man I will just um, use 
a pen and as you can see I didn't cut off this yet because I want to uh, know the position so I will do this uh, complete at the end when we are sticking it to the t-shirt so I know the distance between the head and the uh, body. black vinyl um, it's hard to see the lines if you're drawing with a pen so I'm going to do it with my uh, seam ripper and just like carve a little so I can see where I have to cut so any sharp object will do well you don't want to cut through the vinyl it's just like seeing the outlines is the most important you can cut them both out, the designs. oversized t-shirts I think this would be good let's see be a little lower so now can um, stick these parts to the t-shirt with the heat tape this way I can still move it if not I had to do it on my iron board to make it stay in place so this is temporary tape and it can withstand heat so you can easily pull it off again after you've ironed uh, the different parts definitely on your t-shirt so here we are at the iron board sheet so now you have to press your design uh, for about 15 to 20 seconds make sure that you do that at every um, part of the design And if that's done, you can remove the pressing sheet, remove the heat tape, and sometimes the transparent film that protects the HTV comes off with the tape. That's no problem. Mm -hmm. 
and then you can peel off the protective sheet. I just iron over it again shortly. And then on the back side as well of the t-shirt. And I put the film under the design to protect my iron board. And that's it. Just let it cool and your t-shirt is ready. Now let's do the same thing with the t-shirt for my daughter. She's 10. So I'm using uh, the youth positioner for this t-shirt to see so I'm not sure if I should center the design completely because then the frisbee is off center I think this is good So I'm going to add some heat tape to be sure. I think that's okay for the big one. It isn't really necessary. And press. So you peel the tape and the protective sheet off while the heat transfer vinyl is still hot, but not too hot so you can touch it. Then it peels off easy. And that's it. I have three new t-shirts. One for my son. One for my daughter. And one for my nephew's birthday. So if you're interested, go and check out our store and look for the heat transfer vinyl bundle if you want the heat transfer vinyl and the three accessories if you just want the heat transfer vinyl you can buy it separately as well see ya